Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we bring the biggest entertainment news, lifestyle gist, celebrity gossip, showbiz and so much more. If it's not on Tea Time like I always say, then it's not big enough. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ak. Hello. Hi. Uh, How you cool. doing? I'm all right. Stay safe. Mm. Practicing Are you sure social you're safe distancing. Safe? In hmm. a very unique way. <laughs> do you want to tell them what you did? How you... My, my social distancing? Yeah, yeah, from last night and to this morning. That would be like a, a tea time for a whole day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's just move on to this same AGN saga. So the Northern Actors threatened to leave AGN as Actors Guild of Nigeria if Senator Abu's appointment is terminated. So... Um, I think they should leave. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. I think they, 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 were doing, they were doing us a whole lot of favor if they all just leave. Uh, you know, I mean, it made um, me even think that maybe they should even also leave this Nigeria thing. Like, I think, you know, somebody was talking yeah. about that. Wow. They are so different. They um, also highlighted some of the good things they say he has done, how he helps the girl child. Are we missing the point of this conversation? We're not saying that Abu is the devil mm -hmm. and that he is not a human and doesn't deserve forgiveness. That's not what we're saying. We're saying that if you're going to be honoring people and there was a long list, you shouldn't be picking the one that just recently slapped somebody at a toy sex store shop. That's what we're saying. And if they cannot see that, my, my only worry is that, okay, first of all, I hope that it's not, they're not speaking for the whole of the North. And these are those, these they probably are. are. If they are, then I really think they Because if they're not, to... then a Northern actor should speak up. Yes. Yeah. Um, there, there was a press release that went out even before this one to defend him and highlight all the good things he has done. So they cannot say they are not seeing it. I don't think any member of the AGN right now yeah. would say they do not know what is going on. So uh, Well, then the Western, because the people in the West will also leave if he stays. So then just make separate AGNs. You know, because that's what that's what it seems like it's happening. Yeah, like man. the war has happened, uh, has started. And uh, let's separate, fight. It's separate okay. AGN. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think it's a whole nothing and take inside of this. It's some nothingness in the AGN. Mm. And I'm sorry, even amongst the real nothingness, they don't recognize, they don't really give you so much regard and respect once you're an actor and actress. There's mm. a setting where they see you as a nothing and who act. Okay, and so, bring, there, yeah. there was also something I saw in that press release where they said that if you notice, the um, activists or female activists that are from the north are not saying anything. That's, mm. that's what I'm saying. That's my point exactly. They, they have that, that, that's to show that they know he's a good man. Something <laughs> in that, of that nature. That's, Silence that's, means that's good now. Me. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. I mean, I mean it, so it, it, if they want to leave, let them leave. They were doing a whole lot of people favors. You know what I mean? But this is my point. Um, as they apologize, yes. Um, are we holding forgiveness? Are we holding forgiveness away from him? No. But the point is, his conduct does not befit someone who should be honored and who should be regarded to That's that extent. Mm. You know, and so um, they can go ahead and say whatever they want to say. Um, the Actors Guild of Nigeria, it's it's just one a fraction of Nigerians. And if the whole Nigeria comes and say, you know what, this man cannot be given this kind of honor, then you should listen to the people. Yeah. What are we trying to glorify? Hmm. That is okay to to hit a woman and then still be... be apologize. Be, be, apologize, course, be forgiven, just, yeah. because God forgives every one of us, and then still make this man be... Do you, do you get it? It's actually in the place where laws, policies are being passed. Hmm. What, what legal right? What morality does he have? I mean, when it comes to matters of women, can he rightly speak hmm. on the floor of the Senate? Because for all I care, this was what we saw on video. We're not privy to what Senator Elisha Abu yeah. does in, in private. So we're saying for the sakes, for the morality and legality of the AGN. And, and their own words. Other members, <laughs> yes, <laughs> own words. You know, <laughs> Senator Abu shouldn't have never been enlisted. Yeah. His, his name should never have come up. But it seems like people don't get that. Yeah, um, get and it, 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 it's, it's very interesting. I know with feminism, you find that a lot when we're trying to like advocate for someone. And people are saying, no, no, we like it the way we are. Um, and it's true. Some people are just conditioned so badly that they can't even see when they're being oppressed. And I have a very strong feeling the Northerners are stigmatized with that. There's a lot of... Oh, yeah. um, trying to be sensitive here. I don't want to say it's a collective and everyone, but there's a lot of backwardness that still reigns in there. They're the ones... Um, I know NGOs have the hardest time penetrating through northern cities because they refuse to let go of and, and awful, what, awful, awful, right. awful backward And that's what we um, have people characters. like of yeah. Sanusi speaking out and now he's been deposed and mm. deformed because he's yeah. one of those civilized, I mean, yeah. you know, 
um, not on who speak on issues as it should be spoken. And like, that's, that's, they, why they not, like that's why I'm not surprised. That's why I'm not surprised that you know they're saying that they don't they want him there because they don't see anything wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, there's um, an update update on the story. However, um, they've called for a meeting on the 23rd of this month. That should be the coming Monday. So they're calling on every member who have spoken up on about this issue on social media to at least stop speaking on social media and then come to see to the stakeholders for them to see how this can be sorted. And this press release was pushed out by their PRO, um, Mona Lisa Chinda Koka. Okay. Do you think anything positive, positive will come from that it's, it, should, it, should, it should get him off. I just did. Mm. I'm hoping I'm, I'm, ho I'm off, hoping man. something positive does come out of it, um, but because the president himself is adamant, yeah. there is a press release from the North East Center saying they we want him. him. Also saying if you take him out, we are leaving. So I don't know what this meeting is going to do, but we we'll definitely the whole thing keep that an eye. Which is yeah. this is part of our problem in, in, yeah. the, in the side. We just bring politics into everything, our own. And then you're He's involving money no. as well. Your when money is involved, yeah. it's yeah, a lot it. I mean, harder. Hands, yeah. So even yeah. if they, even if he, there are people sitting there that believe that you know he shouldn't be there, if they've eaten some money, they're going they to can't just. Speak up. Yeah. In the life of me, for as long as Nigeria remains, people in the likes of Senator Elijah Abu can never be role models. And it wasn't so that his case anyway. was tried behind the scenes. Like, it was everywhere. So there's yeah. no way that name comes up and, and it doesn't know. ring a bell. But well, it seems like the president is dealing with a condition where he forgets memories because he couldn't remember the person he was talking oh. to in December. Yeah. Mm. So maybe yeah. he doesn't Perfect. remember what yeah. 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 you know, Take a look at that. Mm. And, and they should even realize, nobody's talking about him being in a sex story. That is his prerogative. Mm. The fact you assaulted a woman in a sex story. Story, in public, like, like in you stopped him, like other people standing there. Not, not so much twice in the though. Did you see the? I even heard we went mm. outside and still continued. Not in a Peter. departmental store, okay. in a sex store mm. show. Okay. You know what I mean? Maybe. We've heard the sex store <laughs> show. <laughs> 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 so Kevin says the government doesn't have the accurate data of um, people with coronavirus. She says, and I quote, so are we going to continue to believe that there is no more cases of coronavirus in Nigeria? I don't think they have accurate data. Guys, please be safe out there. Mm -hmm. She okay. tweeted this we, when we, we don't have day. accurate data on almost everything around here. We don't yeah. have, we have accurate data of our population. <laughs> our census. I mean, so, I mean, Toka is not. She's not necessarily saying anything um, farther from the truth or anything that is new to us here. And I feel. Do I feel there might be more cases that are still not been detected? Yes. I mean, if suddenly, all of a sudden, this morning we're having five new cases. I mean, mm. we're having an American die, and we're having um, a caregiver, an American who died from okay. complications from Correct. supposedly coronavirus. You know, um, we're having five more new cases being reported. We're having 800 people that have not been able, they've not been able to get across to. Those 800, 800 people are across right now, interacting with other people. Oh yeah, so God. the data is not accurate. That's statistically speaking, Statistic based on yeah. the people you must have interacted with on your way to you know. whatever you uh, coming and, uh, from. And yesterday I got a call from a friend who was telling me to be careful and that his work colleague didn't come to work. She's a mother. And she goes, she has a child in a French school. This isn't, hasn't been anywhere on the social media yet. But she has a child um, enrolled in a French school. And they've closed this French school down because one of the kids came back from midterm break or whatever from Italy and has the virus and went to how, school that day. How were we day. so relaxed when this whole thing was going on and people were coming in and going out, weren't bothered? I, I don't understand it. And I'm wondering, this child that has coronavirus has parents. These parents go to work. They have staffs. They have drivers. And they're all interacting with the child, holding the child's lunch and the child's hand. And they're all entering bus. And so, yes, coronavirus has landed. That should be the name of it. What's it doing? It's, it's here. It's really here. And it's really bad. So we need to wake up and be careful. When the thing first happened, like I was panicking and then because it wasn't in Nigeria, kind of like mm -hmm. now, I'm, now it's like it's real. It is here. It's now. here. Well, I mean, if it's good news, I said today the the uh, uh, openings, our airports have been shot against countries regarded as high yeah. risk countries, so mm. US, Europe, and they should have done this France, long. But the Nigerians, you go on Twitter, Nigerians are still talking about how they want to leave, and then they're using Dubai, so they're going from there to Dubai, they come to Nigeria, just close the border. Just close like it. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. how you can say sit there and say that it's a it's a pandemic it's an issue but we're going to do it next week monday it's the like irony it's in that forward. statement it's already it's like how can something be an issue and be like a hazard and you want to treat it next week mm -hmm. like do it now okay i think this is time for us to um talk about the things people need to do again yeah. so that they can be safe. One, I also heard drinking a lot of water helps. So 
drink water. This is not the case where we say drink water and mind your business. Drink water to be safe because it can help you flush out um, a number of bacteria and even this virus if yeah. you come in contact with it. Wash your hands, the tw 20 seconds is the mark, and also use hand sanitizers. Social distancing, please. No gathering. I think the churches are closed down. Already. Well, now, schools now, this are. is this yeah. interesting. I mean, the Lagos State Government has had this morning, and Ogun State Government have shut down schools, schools, mm -hmm. and also also religious centers. Yeah. Well, oh, that has a gathering of over fifty over people. Over fifty yeah. people. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I just want to see how much of compliance mm. the religious citizens also, are going to give clubs to this. As well. Because we're, we're, we're getting information be still, list. still yet, yeah. I think they shut all, all social centers where yeah. people mm -hmm. gather at night and all that. Now, there's, there's still an unconfirmed report that some particular religious house, I mean, because of this, they say, you know what, we're going to have people in their 50s gather at home in, in different homes. I'm like, can't you just, can't you do without people gathering? <laughs> even worse you know, it makes exactly. no sense because oh, yeah. then if the virus is because in you there you can't even control what they do then they, you yeah. spread it to the people yeah. who are more like it. spread so them like, away from each other what is it going to cost what? you that makes no sense you know to put people's public health i think they should just people. sit in their house i know we'll they, they, they worship you, life on air you know, right yeah. now like they pass to sheets at the back of a camera and let your members connect like we have the internet in this period the people that there's a lot of people that will lose money but the people that will make money if it's about if it's about your tithe and your offering they have your give them the tithe and offering they already do that Details, so just let them send it to you so you won't lose so much if it's so much about the money you're going to make. I mean, people's health should come first. And okay. But we don't I even care about to... ourselves either. So <laughs> Yeah, we need to isolate yeah. ourselves as much as possible. And I feel so 50 please, is even so much a number. It is. It's However, a lot. Yeah. let's stick to what the rule is at the moment. And for your own good, I, I don't advise you to go to where the 50 people are modeled up together. <laughs> if you must hang out this Friday, maybe go to a restaurant that you know there is a, a, a perfect yeah. distance space between oh, yeah. you and the next person and have fun. But please, 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 this is serious. Cluster you just need spaces. to look at what's going on in Italy right now. Mm. And the most interesting part of this whole story is that China is coronavirus free mm. right now. And, and, and <laughs> Europe, especially <laughs> Hitler right now, is the, is the most hit yeah. by it, mm -hmm. only after China. Yeah. And, and the, the this death is toll, because the death they never took it seriously like yeah. Yeah. per minute, and it's scary. Look at South, yeah. South Africa, the numbers are doubling as per a day, and their death rate is also now starting to exist. So it's, it's an, <laughs> South Africa is more equipped, they have better qualities. Who's going to take care of us when Don't that starts to happen? In, um, Abuja are going on strike. But anyway, let's ah, go on a quick break. That's, okay. that's all. When we return, we have different more to kettle discuss. of fish. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Harvey Weinstein has been moved to New York State Prison. Um, some say this is um, for better medical facility. So since this um, judgment came, he's been falling sick and sick and sick. I don't know. I mean, he's allowed. Okay, he's allowed. To he's allowed sick. to be sick. I mean, okay. the, the, f I can imagine for him. You know, this is like unbelievable. It's amount of so much power. It's mm. hit him hard. Um, and he's an he's an old guy, yeah. so sure you're sick. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but I, I mean, I was very happy when I heard that he was in Rikers, uh, um, Rikers Island Jail. Rikers Island Jail yeah. because obviously it's bad. And now that he's moved to me, to be honest with you, this is not my struggle. I don't care 
where he goes through and if he gets some more comforts. I think for me, my my real victory was the ideology behind it that we have taken someone down. And now anybody else, and I don't think it's really that many people that's more powerful than Harvey. So anybody else thinking out there that they want to do something would see this as a case and wonder. And I think that for me is a victory. So now if they move him to somewhere more comfortable and he can now sleep on a bed instead of the floor, like I really don't care. Yeah, I was going to say that um, the sh media should reduce the attention he's getting. But at the same time, I think we need the attention mm. to be sure that he's still in jail. Of course. He's that powerful. Anything can happen. So yeah. keep up the attention. I'll start to get worried if I, start, if I now hear that, news. okay, he's mm -hmm. on good probation or something, mm -hmm. and then he's out in like five months. But are you moving him somewhere comfortable and you can now email people twice a month? And, like, have all that. But just... Stay there. That's Stay in that general prison. You know, so I feel, I feel he's, he's still going to enjoy some level of privilege. I, of I don't course. think he's going to be subjected to what inmates really do go or through. Or black inmates yeah, go black through. Black inmates nah, go through in of prison. Course not. He still has some privileges, you know. But, but his fault is, good is, thing is, is hard. He, he's, he's away from the society where mm -hmm. he can't cause any more harm, which is, which is the victory for many people, yeah. for his victims. You know, and I, I sympathize, I empathize with him that hey, his, his health is deteriorating day by day. We seem to be hearing different things about him today, it's this, tomorrow, it's that. I hope they can, this, this America, for Christ's sake, is the, the greatest powerful nation in the world. I mean, Maybe, can, not that it's should, just flushing out you know, people and, you know, it's time for him to go, that's fine too. So, okay. you know, I mean, um, they should get him to, to the best medical facility, health they can give to him, let, hope his health improve. But if it doesn't, it's just, it's life. I mean, mm, something's got to kill a man, I mean, yeah. so. Okay, that reminds me, R. Kelly, any updates on his you case? Because he's been quite um, quiet. Yeah. Also, I think it was, there, was, there, was an, there was an adjournment of, of, a, of a hearing mm -hmm. in the last news. I well, heard, because so you know, courts are not working yes, anymore. Yes, there was an adjournment well. of a hearing so, based on the whole. There, there's a lot, of, yes. a lot of cases that have been postponed because people can't so gather. You're already in yeah. jail, you'll be chilling in jail. You'll be chilling in jail. He's still, 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 still in jail, though. He's still behind bars. Alrighty. Okay, moving on. Um, Tori Spellings is being slammed for teaching her daughter racism. Um, she has, however, apologized, but she had shared a photo of her eight year old daughter playing dress up in a bandana and with chetos attached to her fingers, um, held in place by rubber band. Mm. Uh, okay, she apologized anyway, and I, I like her apology. I mean, it came from a place of um, understanding that um, she, she said she didn't think it through. It was just. Um, something that her, da her daughter did based on what she watches and how she's fond of the character and she decided to put it up. So I hope this apology works and that um, ah. people, I don't know if I can use the word back off, but at least they forgive and move on. I don't know what's I, up I, I, with I, black Americans, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say black Americans because I don't think Nigerians are like that. Mm -hmm. Like if I did something Igbo and then I said, ah, Chilima, I don't think Igbo will come for me and be like, oh my God. I was, I was, I was trying not to say I did not see the pain. I didn't see any, oh, like so there's okay. so much baggage with these people. Like I don't understand it. I don't understand how you give though. so much. First of all, how can you give so much power to words? Like I don't understand. And then secondly, you can't own Mac anything. Because there's um, ghetto like, Latinos that call themselves that. There's ge um, like ghetto Mexicans that. Call so it's not just a black people thing. And I always, I always talk about it on social because I see it more on social media when people, um, what's that word? Where you're, 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 you're abusing someone, but it's just actually a reflection of yourself. There's a word for it. Projection. Projection. Yeah. And I think black people project a lot. You have a problem with yourself. You have a problem with your ghetto ness and your name. So when an innocent person is playing with her child and then labels it a name you freak out mm. i don't think she needs to apologize to anyone i think we need to grow up and get past that and own our words we try to own nigger but yeah you still rage like a crazy person if somebody ever dares call you that the, like, number, relax. the number of it, times um, even the black americans make just of white, white people, people. No, if they go white. off like that every time i don't think we'll have any other issue to discuss I mean, ever <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think we're, on this, we're trying to dispel the fact that racism does exist. Of course just like we did talk about colorism yeah. the other time. Mm -hmm. So just think about it this way. Anything that would, that would be done, anything that would be projected by way of comedy, satire, that gives a, a hint to suggest racism, it will affect the people who are the receiving mm. end. Oh, and please. yes, I agree with you that blacks sometimes we get we can be pretty much we overdo it. But we they, they are the big. ones over the years. So over how many years? It's okay. That's a toppy story. Who hasn't you know? been? Come to Africa. 
What are you talking about? Let's I'm, be real. Come to Africa. Not, no, racism no, is the reason I mean, why we're like this. Let's all, like, we're, we're still living the burnt of colonization. So, so everybody can me, play the blame the... I mean, um, she, um, she did yeah. claim she didn't know. I mean, she didn't read too much meaning that. Mm. Because she doesn't have to. She wasn't you know, thinking um, that way. Said, she exactly. Have to. So, um, it's fine she wasn't thinking that way, but some people thought it and, and interpreted it that way. You Sorry know, so she's apologized. And just just let it let it just let it die. Mm -hmm. We need to I'll, stop. I'll, we I need to stop encouraging more, that thing. I'm so sorry. To, yeah, well, we need to calm down. I'll be and, and black offended should start. If black brings this African Americans ever again. That's trying to it's use okay. against her. Do you know how many times we say I Becky? Be we say Becky to people yeah. like, oh my god, Becky. Oh my god. Like <laughs> maybe maybe it's because I know how much I diss white people. I think what has like, happened on Twitter. I'm always like Caucasian control. They've come. Like I'm talking out loud so if somebody but, then says something that's so harmless she's playing with her daughter for god's sake like she's just using a name do you hate your name let me, so let me tell you what has happened over the years and i think the black african-americans should start moving away from that it's the internalization of slavery that our forefathers were meant to go they went through this many of them don't even have a clue of what those who went through yeah, it yes no longer there. You know, it's, he, it's, he, he it's didn't okay. say it well but yeah you, you can you can do what you're talking about we can't keep internalizing the slavery that happened, it is past. Yes, were they, were they demerits and disadvantages and ills that was perpetrated mm -hmm. due to that? Yes. And you but know, we're off it now. I'm beginning no. to even think that people are beginning to milk that thing. If you find in the LGBT community oh, yeah. where like, oh my God, you're coming out with a voice and then we love you so much and we push them and so because they want to, you know, have his voice or whatever. But now you see people doing that just to catch clouds and just to, and I feel like that's what happened. What's happening with mm -hmm. the black community. Oh my God, I was a press and oh my God, I was like, calm down. You, you were late to work. I used to have that girl <laughs> what, what? in my you need to do that. Like, is it because I'm no. black? It's like, no, it's because you have poor ethics. Like, nobody's speaking See, on you for color. There is, so, there is, there is that positive, vibe going there on is as a well. Positive, the strength they can take from all of that. That, mm -hmm. yes, our forefathers did go through this, but look at us today. We're people who survived it. We're survivors. And so, should we keep relieving? And keep internalizing those yeah, bad experiences. And don't use this mundane no. things to downplay the real Thank issues. Thank you. And that's what I'm worried about. It's like if we always scream about everything, when actual big things happen, like, like, like they kill our again. sons or they, you know, like serious things, they would be like, oh, they've come again, black mm. people. So it's black, like, black, black, black people in America should take responsibility for their actions in their life and, and stop and always, leave white you know, people alone, please. That the kind of like, racism. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so as young promising man where they okay, that's pigeon, so I have to take it again. As young promising man where they hustle, legit hustle, no date any girl where Yahoo boy don't pull. And that is coming from the one and only <laughs> celebrity that's always talking <laughs> what I don't understand. Eriga money. You know, I, your I, I, guy. I I I, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I I agree with Eriga on this. Okay. Because this is it. it it's of the notion that if a girl dates a Yahoo boy, she must have been spoiled silly. Is that where he's coming from? Yes, that's what that's, well, that's what did from. Mm, okay. that, yeah, it can, can happen. Yeah, your own voice can happen. I, 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 I didn't most, get that. Okay, person. go on. Yeah, now. that's it. So she would have been spoiled silly. She's been exposed to a certain I kind of life. I hope you know they're legit guys that have real money. I know, but hey, your own voice to spend money. Mm. I'm like, you know, so he's coming from the part that you know, this girl would have been exposed to a certain kind of lifestyle mm. that if you don't you're have just money. up and coming, don't bother because she will. Oh, there'll always be that, that line of comparison. Mm -hmm. You know, she's had it better, and so maybe someone who goes goes on all this every now and then. She shops in, in best designers places, and now she's dating you. You can't afford that for her. I, I'm sorry. She, she she might not be able to understand it because she's been <laughs> exposed to a certain kind of life. That she is has way, been conditioned. That's it. She has been conditioned. It's <laughs> like going to go a whole life. lot of unconditioning. <laughs> <laughs> to make her realize that, sorry, that was a Yahoo boy I did see. Mm. This is legit this, money. You know, Doesn't this flow is legit like that. money. Mm. It's not been spent that way. So okay. that is where he's coming from. Mm. Fortunately yeah. and unfortunately, I have, I have never dated a Yahoo boy. So oh. I would like you know. I understand. But I've dated legit guys that spoil me. You know, so That's it's just not the legit guys. Just, who it's not necessarily about Yahoo boys. Maybe you should try to check out who the X is <laughs> before you become the next and see if you are up to the standard. But yeah. like they say, it's not always about money, right? It's not always about how much you can give. Or I think it's usually for me about the intention and how much you are ready to be there when necessary. So Society. if you decide to take me. You know, there are people who just take you to the club. I hope they close that. I'm saying that again. So they take you to the club, right? And they pop everything, but they are not ready. So they spend 500,000 naira in the club, but they're not ready to add one naira to, to, to you. Oh, yeah. And really? if you, yes, yeah. no, and I, when I, you I, ask, yeah. they'll tell no, you no, you, you are being that. materialistic. Yeah. But uh -huh. you want me to wear my clothes, have makeup on, 
come and stand with you and you pop and show off and then I go home and I'm crying and I'm hungry. And you say I, I shouldn't yeah, be materialistic. You're right about that. There, there, there's people, there are two kinds of men. Men who have money and men who spend money. Mm -hmm. Not every man who has money will want to spend it. Mm. And so... We, or even spend it right. Yeah. I mean, there are men who have money and there are men who spend money. And just because they have money, some men have money, but they're, they're even stingy to themselves. They're selfish. Yeah. They will not... They will not do yeah, anything. I don't, even, I don't even really understand you know? this. I, I, I've, we talked about it many times. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't grow up in a society where men spoiled women. It wasn't a thing, except you are an official gold digger. But in the places I've lived in, it's almost equal. And if he's doing anything, I'm probably also that is doing. That's lacking on the side. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> I'm also just doing my own thing. <laughs> but here, I know. I know, like, yeah. sometimes. We need to be spoiled. Even, even, even like, if I say something like, it's oh, I have a need, they'll be like, ah, go and tell your fiance. It's like, calm down. I'll do it myself. If you've not detected a woman who's spoiled, you don't shit. No, 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 so no, no, I don't no, no, know. No, no, no. I've dated a few people who. You know, hey, so why are you not talking like you've not even experienced? Majority. 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 Get me one of your friends uh -uh. that has money, drives a good car, and lives in a good place. And I said, oh, really? He said, okay. You say, I have friends who have money, they drive good cars, they live in a good place, but they're also looking for ladies who have money, who drive, drive good, good cars, cars, and, and live, live in a, a good, good place. place. Yeah. So you don't, you don't fit. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I think girls should move away from that mentality. I think we should. There's nothing wrong with a guy. And I'm not and saying that the man should exactly. Exactly. Not exactly. If, if, yeah. if you're dating a girl, you owe the girl some certain responsibilities. Yeah. Mm. But where the, the mentality and she owes is, you some certain responsibilities. and I always yeah, feel like exactly. it's overcompensation. Like yeah. there's so many things to enrich the relationship. That material comes has to come last. For me, like are Thank we talking about like much. like? Can I, can I know what your dreams are? Can I know how I can I can support you? Yeah, just like spending on this journey. Yeah, so that then buying me shoes, like oh my. So we live in a society Shoes, where okay. if a guy if a guy tells a girl I'm broke, I'm like, hmm, are you not a guy? You're not meant to be broke. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, like, hmm, wow. are you not a guy? You're not meant to be broke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, oh, but it's again. okay for the girl to be broke. Yeah, Every I don't guy get that. Has gone through that. <laughs> I don't get that. Sorry, you have so they to feel they that. feel entitled to be broke as a girl. Like it's yeah. my entitlement to be broke. But as a I guy, no. I feel like I feel like for me, broke. if you give me shoes, like you must have done every other thing before shoes, because I wouldn't appreciate it if you're lacking sense, your emotional intelligence is crap, your actions in bed are crap, and then for my birthday you give me shoes. It's like nah, there's a lot more we need to work on before. I totally agree with you, man. Yeah. That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and you can catch up on this um, episode by watching also on Auto TV and on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Benny Ag and Ife Omai and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.